You're watching Dugoscopy TV for a special update on Hungary and Poland with Christopher Hartwell. Now, after two years of monetary easing, Hungary decided to leave rates on hold at its latest meeting. Hungary's Prime Minister Viktor Orban believes Europe has shot itself in the foot by imposing sanctions on Russia. Now, he is seeking support from other countries to improve relations. Now, Christopher, what's your take on the central bank's approach to improving the economy? And what do you think about Orban's view on Europe's relationship with Russia? Well, they're both, they're, they're, they're two halves of the same hole. Hungary is always a delight and so much fun to watch as an economist, especially because their central bank just throws all, all caution to the wind. They don't seem to be following any preset rules, and they really relish the fact that they can surprise the markets. You know, the rate hold from last month, you know, first one in, in 24 months, really took the markets by surprise. And there was a general consensus that this month that the rates were going to stay the same because, well, the central bank needed to needed to show that it hadn't made it a, a mistake last time around. But as, as I mentioned, I, I could see it going any particular direction. The, the central bank of Hungary really plays by its own rules. I think it's probably a smart move for Hungary uh, these days. Um, yeah, again, the foreign has really been weakening against the euro. You see growth is, is fairly strong. There's really no need to bottom out on the interest rates as, as the central bank was really pushing towards. So it's a good move. If anything, they should be looking towards, uh, towards raising rates. But in this kind of geopolitical uncertainty that Hungary is facing, the entire neighborhood we're facing because of Russia, you know, it, it's a good move for them. The second half of this is Viktor Orban saying that, you know, well, saying many things, one being that um, maybe liberal democracy isn't the way to go, saying that the EU shot itself in the foot when dealing with Russia. I think this this is also symptomatic of kind of the Hungarian go it alone, go it at their own pace, uh, really approached politics and economics. I think a lot of uh, Viktor Orban's pronouncements, especially having the EU shot itself in the foot, I think the EU has shot itself in the foot on other occasions. I think in Russia is one of the few times when it's actually put its gun in its holster. I think that's actually behaving correctly towards Europe and Hungary is possibly just being uh, a little controversial, a little inflammatory, just for the sake of it. And I don't really think Hungary would benefit if things went the other way. Poland's government bond market remained in an upbeat mood. Retail sales grew at a faster pace in July. Now, Christopher, do you think this will actually encourage the central bank to leave rates on hold? Well, it's, it's always a tough call. It's, it comes back to kind of the culture of monetary policy authorities. And we were just talking about Hungary, they have this kind of loose cannon culture. They really are more conservative here at the, the National Bank, at the NBP. They really do not want to cut rates unless they feel it's absolutely necessary. I think the retail data is good. Um, I don't think it's necessarily what the NBP is really tracking. I think they're really looking at inflation rates, which as in most of Europe, have been going down or even turning negative. Uh, I personally believe that there is no reason to get worried about deflation. I think the ECB is shooting itself in the foot when it comes to worries about deflationary pressures. But I think what the NBP is really looking at is looking for more signs of this deflation. I think the retail, strong retail uh, growth is probably good. It shows that the economy is picking up and that there might be this kind of return to price rises that they might be coming closer to inflationary targets. But I really think that's what they're looking at rather than this kind of overall health of the economy. I think they do not want to cut rates if they don't have to. Christopher, thank you very much. Well, viewers, do stay tuned as we have plenty more heading your way. So do not go anywhere. Goodbye for now.